Welcome back, scholars. My name is Mr. Byers. Today we're going to talk a little bit about something we touched on at the beginning of the year. That is rational and irrational numbers and what happens when we add, subtract, and multiply them together. Let's just dive right in. The sum of two rational numbers. Now, the question here, it's not complete. My note cards are over some of it. But functionally, what am I talking about here? The sum, well, in our case, we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting. Um, sum is traditionally talking about adding, but we can always add a negative number, which is basically subtracting. So I'm going to give you guys a statement here, and it's going to be always, sometimes, or never. These are going to be your notes for the day. We're going to practice these a lot this coming week, but um, I just want you to have these statements readily and available for when that time comes. So the sum of two rational numbers is going to always, sometimes, or never be rational. In this case, we're kind of talking about always. If we got a two and you add a three, it's going to give you five. It doesn't suddenly start, you know, going off into infinity with a decimal like irrational numbers do. My example I'm giving you here is a thousand plus three. It's going to be a thousand and three. It's not trying to trick you. It's pretty straightforward. The sum of two irrational numbers, okay? The sum of two irrational numbers is always, sometimes, or never going to give you an irrational number. So if you take pi and you add it to two pi, suddenly it doesn't stop terminating. You're going to get pi plus pi is two pi, which is the same thing as 3.1415 dot 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 times two. And when you do that multiplication, it's going to be uh, 6.282 and then it goes on and on and on okay um, but there is one interesting case here uh, so this one's actually gonna be sometimes and it's actually gonna be usually actually if you take a number any number and you subtract it from itself it's gonna be zero and zero is a rational number so even irrational numbers like pi if you subtract it from itself, it's going to be zero. Same thing happens with radical two, radical five, you know, all those good irrational numbers we've been talking about. So, last statement on this page. The sum of a rational and irrational number is never rational. Now, this isn't the best way to see this. I'm realizing that now. I'll write that in just a second. Um, basically what I'm saying here is that 3 plus radical 2 is going to give you 3 plus 1.414 and it's going to go on and on and on and on. Um, that becomes really obvious when you set it up like a traditional multiplication problem that you learned in uh, elementary school. So if we take this and we say this is going to be 1.414 and then it does a whole bunch of stuff into infinity and I want to add 3 to it well, this is the same thing as 3.000, and it's got a zero for every single number it's got on the top going into infinity. Well, this just becomes 4.414 into infinity. It doesn't suddenly stop because you added a 3 to it. All right, let's take a look at multiplication now. The product of two rational numbers is always rational. Okay, um, zero is always a tricky number, but in this case, zero doesn't change anything. Zero times 1372, both of these are rational numbers, is going to give you zero, which is an, still a rational number. Uh, two times 373 equals 746. When you multiply two rational numbers, it's not suddenly going to go into infinity. Okay, um, well, I guess it could repeat because we're talking about... Uh, fractions as well so but it's not suddenly going to non it, it going into infinity with no discernible pattern next bit the product of two irrational numbers is blank irrational I kept this one up because I thought it was interesting okay I didn't fill this one in yet because I wanted to talk about it radical 2 irrational times radical 7 irrational. It's going to give us radical 14, which doesn't simplify. Our only factors are 2 and 7. 
and you plug into a calculator, you're going to get 3.741657 dot 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 into infinity. This never ends and never repeats. But what happens when we do something like this? Radical 2 times radical 8 equals radical 16. That simplifies to just 4. Okay. This is a rational number. This is an irrational number. And I'm going to go back to that usually type thing. Okay. So this is usually boop, usually irrational. And it, the only cases where it doesn't happen is when you multiply the two together and you get a perfect square. Okay. Um, so you got to be leery of perfect squares and zeros throughout this whole process. Last one. The product of a rational number and an irrational number is blank rational. Hmm. I'm giving you some examples here. Take a look. Again, zero is our tricky case. If you multiply 3 times radical 2, you're going to get this 4.2426, and it goes on to infinity type thing. Zero is our tricky rational number. you got to think about it a little bit. When you involve an irrational number, though, it suddenly makes it terminate. This guy, zero times anything is just zero. So, again, this is going to be sometimes... Okay? Sometimes rational. And we say that's true because zero throws us off. We can't... It's our case that doesn't let us say always. Okay? Um... And I'm going to leave you guys with some stuff to remember, and we're going to work a lot on examples of this in class on Monday and Tuesday. But let's take a look. Um, two things to remember. Rational numbers are not tricky. Okay, They're not. They're not trying to trick you. They're not suddenly going to go off into infinity. Rational number, Irrational numbers can be sneaky, though. There's a couple different cases where you have to be careful. Um, when you involve zero okay, as a multiplication, it can throw things off. Zero is one you got to be thinking about. Whether you're adding and subtracting and getting zero, or you're multiplying and getting zero, zero can throw us off. Perfect squares. Perfect squares are another thing that suddenly vaults us back into rational number land. Okay, radical 16 is is just four. Radical 81 is just nine. And with that, I'm going to leave you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And I'm sorry I got this to you guys a little bit late. Peace out.